Tell us about your very first encounter with Pops Abotri and how that was. Thank you very much. Uh, to start with, I think I must say that um, the people of Aguna Asafo in the Aguna East District I have really lost a gem. Mm -hmm. um, I encountered Professor Kwesi in 1996 when my dad died and I had to go to the village uh, to, to perform his right uh, funeral. Um, it, it, it was very encouraging when a cousin of his, um, major retired Ben Donko, who had been a model, a role model for the young people of Aguna Safo. Well, you know, there was this thinking that uh, Aguna Safo had some spiritual powers, and therefore, parents hardly sent their children to the hometown, to Aguna Safo. And my parents never sent us there. So I did not know that Aguna Safo had very well educated people. It was at that funeral that I met. Professor, the late Professor Kwesi Boche, who shared his experiences with me. And I was really encouraged that a man of that caliber, who had gone to Yale, who had gone to Michigan, who had so many intellectual, um, uh, 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 how do you call it, intellectual experiences, yeah. was from Aguna Safo. Interesting. And that actually encouraged me uh, to, to, to commit myself to Aguna Safo. Mm -hmm. That's how it's so. That's what Professor Kwesi uh, mm. did. Now, now, so I mean, you you were impacted by him through that means. How did the people from the area see him? Did they see him as one of their own? Did they see him as one person who was a leading light in the area? Was he as uh, popular in that particular area as he was in the Republic of Ghana entirely? Okay, thank you. You see, uh, if we look at today, mm -hmm. if you were at the um, the state house yeah. where the, the funeral took place, and you look at the chiefs that came over to the extent that even the paramount chief himself had to come, that should give you an indicator that if he was not actually accepted by the people, his death wouldn't have been followed. He wouldn't have been followed there. Mm -hmm. Now, this was a man who actually projected the image of Aguna Safo. And in fact, one of the chiefs would always say that, look, whenever I travel, I boast myself, I pride myself with Professor Kwesibochi. Because you mentioned Professor Kwesibochi and they asked from where Aguna Safo and say, oh, that is where Professor Kwesibochi comes from. Okay. It projects the image. Uh, so in terms of, of popularity, uh, he actually has gained has that popularity. You know. But this was a very principled man, mm. who very principled man, who would not want to compromise institutional development township development, constitutional development by nobody whom, let's say, whom you know. He was a very principled. So of course, not everybody in Aguna Safo may like him. But there's one thing that we can say about him, he was principled.